Good morning. <laughs> I got my tea. It's decaf, but that just makes me so cozy in the morning. Helps me wake up. Anyways, doing my, my morning work, my daily money practice, which if you don't know about it, check out my Money Empire course at jessicaweaver.com. You can build your own money practice to help you start doubling your income, doubling your wealth. Really go into full mode receipt. Receiving wealth, receiving love, receiving opportunities, whatever it is that you are calling in. And part of the daily money practice is getting super intentional on what we're calling in and why we're calling it in. The selfish reasons and the selfless reasons. We need to get those selfish reasons out in the air. We need to let our ego talk. Whether it's to feel worthy, whether it's to feel validated, whether it's just to have more money, to spend more money, to invest more money, right? But no matter what, your selfless reasons are going to be more than your selfish reasons. No matter what. And just by getting them out on pen and paper, right? I was just doing that on pen and paper, allows you to see really where your heart is. Sure, the selfish reasons, those usually are the surface reasons. They're the ones that we first think of, which makes us feel greedy of wanting more money. Ho, ho, ho. There it is. Yes. So when you're calling in more money, you're like, oh, but it makes me feel guilty or greedy. It makes me feel icky, as my daughter likes to call it, yucky, yucky. And that will prevent the money from coming in because our feelings aren't in alignment with receiving more money. So we get those out first. Then we go into the selfless reasons. And even having more money coming in to earn more money, yeah, it's gonna make you feel valued. But that teaching right there is of value to the world. The world needs to hear more and more of that. So then we look at the selfless reasons and that builds up our, our emotional connection to the money, our energetic vibration, some people call it. The feelings, we need to feel what it is like to have money. And I was just reading a quote about in Barbara Stanley's Overcoming Under Earning. People who have more money at the end of the month than what they spend have wealth. So when you have more money at the end of the month than you've spent, you've earned more than you spend, you have wealth. Those that use that money for change have power. And this is big because I'm opening up a new level to lift where I work one-on-one -on -one with people to get them to that place where, yes, they have their daily money practice. They are aware of their money now, what's coming and what's going out, their flow of money, starting to receive money. We then build their money empire, their platform to earn thousands of dollars, millions of dollars, even while they're at rest, even while they're sleeping or on vacation. But then we really get into profiting. Having more money, you earn so much money that you pay all your bills, you pay up all of your debt, you invest the money, you save money, and there's still money left over. Imagine being in that place. And then we get to money enlightenment, money legacy, and that's the power. That's the power move, and I am so excited for this because I'm just, the change that we can have in this world when more women come to that money enlightenment state of life. So here's a prayer. Here's a prayer for today. Ready? Because these are some high, high level things that we are calling in as we get women to money enlightenment. And worthy is going to be a big undercurring theme that we need to work on. So this is going to help you feel worthy. Okay? And I want you, we always, I talk about flexing our worthiness muscle. And it's getting comfortable around big ass. Getting comfortable around a million dollars, getting comfortable around two, three, five million dollars, hundreds of thousands of dollars coming in every month, getting comfortable around that. How do you get comfortable? You talk about it more. You surround yourself with people, just like I surround myself with people who are doing that. And now we're talking up about money and not down about money. So here's a prayer. Today, Lord, help me feel worthy of my highest desires. Let me trust in you and your ways. Show me what it feels like to be worthy on every level. 
You are my supply forever. Amen. Show me what it feels like to be worthy on every level. That's a big one. Here it is. Worthy yeah. on every level. The more we can feel worthy and connect to that worthiness, the more we're going to draw it in. So that's why I talk about normalizing the things that we want to bring into our lives. Normalizing the $50,000 a month. Normalizing the $100,000 a month. It's not saying that we're not grateful for it. We are beyond grateful for it. We are so grateful for it. But it's like, oh, I just expect it to come. It's there. I don't have to worry about how. God's taking care of the how. I'm just expecting that money to come into my life. The more we can feel that and normalize it, the more we're going to feel worthy of it. That's the shift. That's the shift I welcome for you today. If you're curious about our Lyft course, we're relaunching it July. We're relaunching it July, but you can get our Money Empire course to get the groundwork moving because we still need that groundwork. We still need that daily money practice. All right. God bless you today. I'll talk to you soon.